Are you ready to send some smiles this holiday season? Well, I have got a vertical Z fold card to share with you today. Friends, these cards are as much fun to make as they are to send. Hello, welcome everybody. I'm Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm so glad you're joining me today as we create this vertical Z fold card. It's simpler than you think. I'm excited to share it. So we're gonna head over to my stamping table and get started. Let's go ahead and jump in, guys. We are gonna start with our holiday card. I love this one. You might recognize this stamp set. It's actually uh, one from last season at Stampin' Up, but it's still one of my favorites because I love the whimsy. It's called Marius Trees, and this stamp set also has a matching die set as well. I am going to be using the die set today just for the tree, but I think you can see if you don't have the dies, this tree is an easy one to fussy cut. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about the supplies that you need. Guys, you know I always provide you with a free download because I want you to enjoy the video. No writing down measurements and scoring lines, all that good stuff. The free download is there for you. You'll find this at simplysimplestamping.com or if you look down in the YouTube description, there's a direct link. Everything that you need is going to be here and you can also uh, order any of the supplies that I used on my card today. Friends, if you click this graphic or follow this link, It'll take you right to my online store and all of the Stampin' Up! supplies that you need are available right there. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I hope you'll consider uh, placing an order with me. With that, let's jump in. To start things off, I've got two pieces of real red that are four and a quarter by five and a half and two pieces of the Reindeer Days Designer Series paper and those are four by five and a quarter. I am simply going to adhere each of these pieces right here on to the real red. Let's set those off to the side. We're ready to do a little stamping. I'm going to begin with a granny apple green ink pad. And you notice I have some uh, scratch paper underneath me, some grid paper. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with this stamp. So I'm gonna ink this up here in the granny apple green. And I am actually not going to be using the bottom of the tree. This die, we're only gonna cut part of it. So I'm not even gonna worry about that bottom area, all right? We will stamp that. Yep, it's going off the side, off the bottom. It's all good. I'm going to bring in the dies, and you see this is the big Christmas tree. We're going to take the one that's one step down. And this is where you can see how I can just die cut that part of the tree. And just so you know, you kind of get to keep working your way down, all right? There are all these different trees. And the really cool thing is you can also, we're not today, but you could layer these and do some amazing different things with them. But friends, let's go ahead. We are just going to start with the uh, second tree, all right? So we're just going to get one, two, three, four layers. So I've got that sandwiched between two cutting plates. I'm using my mini machine today. And now you can see how we just have the one tree. Now I'm not gonna throw this out just yet because we're gonna do one more bit of stamping. I've got a crushed curry ink pad and we are going to take the star. I'm going to stamp a star right there. I will take the star die and I will die cut that as well. I have another piece of basic white, and you know, I don't think I gave you the measurements on that tree. These are both the same. They are a two and three quarters by four and a quarter. But I'm now going to take a real red ink pad and I'm going to stamp my greeting right up there at the top. We're ready to add the tree and we're going to do that with some Stampin' Dimensionals right underneath our sentiment. We're gonna give ourselves a little extra room because we need to top our tree with a star, of course. And for that, I'm going to use a mini Stampin' Dimensional. So we'll add our star right there. I've got a piece of real red card stock that is three inches by four and a half. And we're going to be able to take our focal image for our card. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in, this will be the front of my card. Remember those two pieces were identical, so either one. We'll center that up 
in the front of our card. We'll decorate our tree here in just a minute, but let me teach you how to create the Z fold. I have a piece of basic white cardstock. This is a three and a half by 11. And I have that scored at two inches and six and a half inches. And so you can see, we're just gonna kind of accordion fold that. I'll come in now with my other piece of cardstock that had the designer series paper. Now that two inch section, that's right here. But we want to make sure our card is opening this way, all right? So I have my adhesive, my flap is where I need it to be because this pattern, this paper has a pattern to it. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my Christmas lights going upside down. This. I'll tell you what, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and get this stamp. So I'm gonna bring my real red ink pad back in. Inside this card, I'm going to say, love and joy. And then in a crushed curry ink pad, we have, well, it's supposed to be a little bow, but you know what? I thought it really kind of added a little something to my sentiment inside, my greeting. There we go. Now on this two inch flap, we'll add adhesive to the flap. Friends, this could not be any easier. Are you ready? We're gonna layer these two pieces of cardstock, the real reds. We're gonna line those up so that it looks like a card that you would maybe just open, but yep, it's got that extra flap. It is really that easy. Okay, let's decorate our tree. And you can use your favorite embellishments, but I love these textured gold adhesive dots. They are just fantastic. And friends, that's all there is to it. All right, I have got a second card I want to teach you. It's going to be built the same way, but I've got some tips and tricks to share with you on creating this great focal image. This one, instead of designer series paper, we're going to be using cardstock. But you notice my focal image uh, on the front is quite a bit bigger. So I've got some different measurements to go along with my you mean or you mean so much to so many. Don't forget about the free download I have for you that goes along with today's video. So when you're ready to recreate, you're going to have the supply list, the measurements. There's even a QR code you can click or scan and it'll bring you right back here to YouTube if you need a refresher on the video. Guys, you'll find my free download at simplysimplestamping.com or simply look down in the YouTube description for a direct link. Two pieces of garden green and those are the four and a quarter by five and a half two pieces of copper clay that are four by five and a quarter. Just like before, we are going to adhere these together. And now we're going to come in with a three and three quarters by five. And for this card, we're going to be using the Enduring Beauty stamp set plus the Enduring Beauty masks. Guys, if you have not tried these, I'm telling you, they are such a wow. All right, so I wanna teach you how to use these. We're going to start here with the big focal image and a copper clay ink pad. We'll stamp that big set of flowers right there in the center of our basic white cardstock. And now we're going to work with a crushed curry and a garden green ink pad. I'm gonna start with the crushed curry. And for this, we're going to be using this, the uh, blending brushes. If you have sponge daubers, those will work well. I just absolutely love the blending brushes. So let's start with that crushed curry. And before we start, we wanna make sure that uh, our masks are in order. So there's a one, two, three, four, and five listed on there. So of course we will start with mask number one. When you lay the mask down, just look to make sure you have everything uh, kind of masked off the way it should be. Now, some people really like to um, tape this down, which you could do that. You could use a little painter's tape, but I gotta tell you, I find that it's a little bit faster, and if I'll just really hold this good and strong, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna start with my crushed curry. I'm gonna get just a little bit off of that because this first round, okay, first round, yeah, this has layers. We want this ink to be very, very light. We're gonna be adding more color as we go. We wanna keep this first one just a little on the light side. Yes, I do have ink all over this. After I'm done with everything, I'm simply going to rinse that off under 
the sink, no big deal. Okay, now we get to move on to mask number two, and you notice this would be a green one. So it does go back and forth between one color and two. So now we're ready to work on our leaves. That of course will be garden green. And just like we did before, we line it up, hold your cardstock down. We wanna get some of that dark color off. And again, we want this to be very light. We're gonna add more detail, but we wanna keep it really light. All right, that one's done. Let's bring in number three. Aha, here's more of that detail in the crushed curry. All right, I've got that one in place. Again, I'm still gonna get some of that deep color off, but can you see I'm definitely going a little bit darker on this one because this is what's going to start to add the depth to those flowers. I can't wait to remove this and show you the wow. Are you ready? Look at that. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. We've got our last set of leaves. This again will be the one that'll give us that detail. And let me tell you, if you wanna leave it just like this, if you're happy with that, you can do that too. And of course, you can always come in with Stampin' Write markers or Stampin' Blends. You don't have to have the masks. I do really enjoy them and they are a lot of fun too. All right, now let's add that detail. Oh, it just, it really makes these leaves pop. And let's see what we have. Ah, oh, see, isn't it just so pretty? All right, we have one last mask that we need to do. And that one's actually going to come back in with the copper clay. Now this is another one. If you wanted, you could leave it just like this because it is stunning, but you know me, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this last one. And this one just gives a little detail to the stamen of our flowers. And now we'll come in with a blending brush. You can add as little or as much as you'd like. And so when we remove that, that is our final project. Absolutely beautiful. Back in with Garden Green, we're going to stamp a sentiment. I've got a small piece of basic white. This is a one inch by one and three quarters, truly pulled out of my scrap bin. And we're going to add that to a piece of crushed curry that is two inches by one and a quarter. All right, we're going to add our beautiful flowers to one of our card layers. And by the way, if you wanted this to be maybe for Christmas, you could change these colors maybe into some beautiful deep reds. It would be so nice. Or you could leave them white and maybe just add some of the detail. Hmm. Oh, now my mind is spinning with some fun ideas. You can add your sentiment anywhere you want just like we did before, all right, and it's the exact same size piece of basic white that was a three and a half by 11, scored at two and six and a half. We wanna make sure we're opening our card correctly and that the flap, that two inch flap is up at the top, facing up, and we'll add that. We'll add adhesive to the flap only, add our front card, and our vertical is done. Let's stamp on the inside. Oh my goodness, I just messed up my stamping. I can't believe it. But you know what? We're just gonna add a layer because you know, everything you can just add on a layer. All right, let's add, there's some little sweet little flowers in here. I will stamp those in copper clay and I can fill them in with that crushed curry. So we'll add that there. There's always a way to fix a boo-boo. One last thing, and that is a little linen thread bow. I will take a mini glue dot, roll it into just a little ball. You don't wanna overwork it. You don't want it to lose it sticky. And I thought the linen thread just that kind of earthy tone looked so beautiful with this card. This is a stamp set that you will use all season long. I created a fall card. I think you know you could change these colors up to anything you wanted. Hey, how about we add one last thing? You know, I added them to the other card and since I'm still kind of bringing in that crushed curry, let's add a few more of these gold textured adhesive dots. There you go, friends, the vertical Z fold card. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a fun one to make and send. You know it's gonna brighten someone's day. You know it will. So I hope you'll give this card a try. 
Thank you all so much for stopping by today. I hope that you were inspired by today's cards. If you were, a thumbs up on YouTube is always appreciated. And if you have not subscribed, take a minute to click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Then YouTube can let you know whenever I will be back with a new video. I'd love to have you join. Thank you again, everybody. Have a fantastic day, and we can't wait to stamp with you next time. Bye-bye.